In this video, we are going to review the Dorfest OS based on Android 12 for OnePlus 7T. So if you don't know how to install it or if you haven't installed it yet and you want to, then we'll link in top right corner. You can just click there and install the ROM if you want it on your device. So without wasting for our time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit and I was in Snaptech. So let's get started. So the first thing when you install this ROM, you will notice this new UI interface like not something you have seen before on stock OnePlus 7T as it didn't got the official Android 12 update yet. But this ROM is based on Android 12 so it might be new if you are installing this ROM on your device. So the second best thing you will notice is the buttery smooth experience you will get with this ROM like it's something new, something you haven't seen before along with the stock experience in Android 12 interface. The whole device just get revamped to the next level. And talking about the actual performance, it got really pretty score on Geekbench 5 compared that it has been used for 2.5 years, it still got pretty close to the actual performance of a OnePlus 70 on stock room. As well as it comes with a Wildwine L1 security that means you can use all your banking apps as well as every other apps which usually doesn't work on L2 or L3 security. As well as you can even watch the Netflix on whichever quality you want and it will work like a charm. It also got a lot of customization option to choose from like from tweaking your status bar to the next level to getting that sweet AOD on your device. And it's really good to be honest and you can even customize the stock volume sliders according to your liking. Then it also got a really amazing battery backup which is pretty much same as the stock room and it will get you through the day with ease. So now let's talk about the lock screen and security. So it has all the basic security options such as pin, password, pattern and fingerprint. And the only thing missing is the face unlock which I am not sure is not available on this ROM as some other custom ROM does have it. But still there is a catch that fingerprint can sometimes act buggy. Sometimes like it won't unlock your device until you input your password or password or your pattern. But when it works it's really really quick. So the stock camera that comes with this room is quite average like any other custom room. But you can always install Gcam to click amazing pictures and videos if you are really looking forward to use this room as a daily driver. And if you don't know how to just install that Gcam on your device, just click on the top right corner and you'll be able to install that sweet Gcam on your OnePlus 70 device running on Dirtfest OS or any other Android 12 OS or custom room. So coming to the gaming performance, it really does perform well in terms of touch input and actual frame rates and overall experience. So I haven't installed and used many custom rooms based on Android 12 till now but trust me, if it would have been me, I can surely use this room as a daily driver any day. Like if I compare it with many other custom room which I installed based on Android 10 and Android 11. I never saw this type of performance and stability in any of those. So this was my review for Dirtfest OS based on Android 12. So do let me know in the comment section below how was your experience and even like this video if you enjoyed it and do subscribe to this channel to help us reach 1 lakh subscriber goal to the end of this year. So this is it for this video. I'll meet you in the next one. Snaptech signing up.